So step one, the athletic stance. So soft knees, knees slightly bent, weight slightly forwards, and your hands and head in front of your shoulders. Step two, your split or check step. That's the little jump, just as your opponent plays their shot. Step three, the side shuffle across to the ball. Step four, the last leg to land being your outside leg. So for right-handers, that's your right leg. Step five, feet pointed to the outside of the court. Again, over to the right if you're a right-hander, over to the left if you're a left-hander. And that's partly as a result of your upper body turning. Step six, the knees bend a bit more, especially on the outside leg, which is where most of your weight goes. Step seven, you drive up from the legs, especially your outside leg, so that's the right leg for the right-hander, left leg for the left-hander, and that causes you to leave the ground and make contact with the ball in midair. Step eight, the earlier rotation of your body, which is now uncoiling to unleash your racket into the ball, causes you to rotate in midair. Step nine, you now land on the ground with your feet in the opposite direction to where you started. So for right-handers, that's now feet over to the left. Although you're still gonna have your feet the same width apart, which is just wider than shoulder width. Step 10, land on the court, but push off with the outside leg, which is the right leg for right-handers, left for left-handers, to push off in the opposite direction. The important point here is always remember the opposites. So you drive off with the right leg to go left, and you drive off with the left leg to go right. And you do this in order to recover with side shuffles towards the center for the next shot. 